It's incredible. There's really nothing like the great outdoors. Yep. Nothing but me, you, nature, and the moi. Ugh. Who invited him? He's totally useless. Yeah. Max, what's the worst that could happen? He's harmless. Hey, you guys want some hot cocoa? Yeah, sure. Make it two. Two hot cocos coming up. I hope this is good. So, I'm assuming today's topic is that glowing green thing in the sky, right? Yep. That's the Aurora Borealis. More like Aurora Boring Alice. What? It's gotta be aliens creating those weird colors, right? Is that really what you think? Yep. I just haven't narrowed it down to what kind. Huh? Are we talking Admiral Akbar looking dudes? Klingons? Xenomorphs? Alf? E.T.? Lilo and Stitch? Well, I can tell you right off the bat that it has nothing to do with aliens. You know what? You are an excellent liar. Yeah. No, I'm serious. Well, if that's the case, then what does cause the Northern Lights? Well, before we describe what causes it, let's explain what it is. Imagine camping under the night stars, looking up in the sky, and BOOM! It becomes all purple and green. What? That is Aurora Borealis. The name comes from the Roman goddess of the dawn, Aurora and the Greek name for Wind of the North, Boreas. In the past, there were reports of those believing the Northern Lights were anything from dragons, to the spirits of loved ones that passed away, to the sign of new life being born. Today, only those living within a certain portion of the North Pole, which we call the Auroral Zone, are able to witness this natural phenomenon. North Pole? Are you telling me that Santa gets a front row seat to this alien light show? Yeah, no wonder he only delivers presents once a year. He's too busy staring at this. Yeah. So how often can these lights be seen? Technically, the northern lights occur pretty often. But most times, it isn't dark long enough to see them during the summer months. The best time is usually during the winter season. Yeah. In the Arctic, this lasts from late September to late March or early April. I can barely wait for winter. Do you get it? Do you guys get it? Because I'm a bear and it's the winter. What? During this time, the Arctic sky is dark enough for the northern lights to be visible in the right conditions. There is barely any light right now. Do you get, do, did you get my second joke about bears? No. In order to see them, the sky needs to be dark and clear of any clouds. The northern lights most commonly appear between 5 p.m. and 2 a.m. They don't usually show for too long, as they only last for a few minutes before drifting away. A good display may last for no longer than 15 to 30 minutes at a time, although if you're lucky, they could last for a few hours. Man, if I saw that, I'd want to pause it. Huh? Did do you get it? Because I have paws? No! Random question. But well, what would happen if I were to, like, go through the Northern Lights? Could I touch it? Or taste it? Oh! I imagine it's got, like, a Rice Krispie vibe going on. Andy, the Northern Lights are 50 to 400 miles in the sky. What? It's even visible from space. Wow. Even if you could get up there, it would be like touching light. No. In space, huh? Hmm. Sounds like the work of aliens. Yeah. But what about sounds? I imagine it's got like a Rice Krispie vibe going on. Oh, you're obsessed with Rice Krispies! Old folk tales suggested that the northern lights can create short, light noises that sound like snaps, crackles, or pops. For years, people doubted this, but scientists recently discovered that the sounds are real. Here, listen to it. Hey, uh, real quick, what's the sound Rice Krispies make? I don't know, why? Hey, Steve, what sound do Rice Krispies make? Snap, crackle, pop. And what sound does the Aurora Borealis make? Snap, crackle, pop, so what? Yeah. Kids, don't listen to the man. The Northern Lights taste like Rice Krispies. These crazy lights don't only happen in the North. There's also Aurora Australis, AKA the Southern Lights. These lights occur at Earth's South Pole. 
Auroras also occur on other planets in our solar system, including Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, and Mars. Similar to Earth's aurora, the lights have been seen close to other planets' poles. Hey, do you guys think there's any fruits and berries up there? Do, do, do you get it? Cause, cause bear, berries, I don't know. Well, you know what's next. Let me guess, something about Rice Krispies. Nope. Hot cocoa? No. Definitely not that. It's the ultimate question. What causes this freaky light show? The auroras start with the sun. Solar storms send billions of tiny charged particles towards the Earth. But surrounding our planet is an invisible magnetic field that protects us and keeps these particles from entering our atmosphere. But the magnetic field lines come closest to Earth near our poles. Many of the charged particles travel along these lines and enter our atmosphere here. This allows these particles to react with the gas molecules in our atmosphere which creates this beautiful, colorful light show. Hey Steve, how's that hot cocoa coming? Wait a second, what's going on in there? Uh, it's the uh, Aurora Borealis. Aurora Borealis, at this time of the year, at this time of the day, in this part of the country, localized entirely within your kitchen? Yes. May we see it? No. Oh well. At least it's nice and warm out here. No one but me, you, Steve, and the entire state's fire department. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you can, follow me on Twitter and Instagram. I do Q and A's and post stuff about my videos on there, so check it out. But a special thanks to my patrons on Patreon, especially Anera and Alice, Max, Leah and Gavin Clark, Ada S, Connor and Emma B, Evan Lee, Marley and Lennon Kimsey, Carter, Levi, and Fletcher, Alex and Bella, Maxwell Rummins, Elijah Robert, Renko, Kostya, and Yaro, Will, James, and Christian Reynolds, Dean Scandalakis, Darian Calvin, Charlie, Iris, Henry, and Peanut, Henry Pavelko, Levi and Trevor Dwyer, Arthur Watson, Jack and Easton Hess, Amelia Murray, Ari, aka R Tank, Magnus and Lars, Wesley C, Sean Fideli, Matthew and James Mondiello, Kai Kim, Leif Anderson Miller, Creative Devin and Zach T, Aiton Judah, Rebecca and Sarah F from Pennsylvania, Emma Priestley, Cruz Gomez, Buddy Deese, Maxwell M, Jack and Colt Skinner, Jack and Lucas, Grant and Amelia, Penny, Carrie, Billy and Mora, Charles and Olivia, Declan Fafel, Lily, Patrick and Marina, Under Pressure Homework Help, especially Riley Kraft, Evan Gray, Mrs. Brown's first grade, Ethan Grainer, Gavin Moore and Paige Lawton, Dally and Scarlett Lewis, Ellie, Jack and Bobby Griffin, Dom and Ollie, Lizzie, Dean and Trevor, Evan, Bristol and John Beecher, Xander and Lucinda, Simon, Natalie and Liam McNulty, Fred and Tio, Gavin and Ian Eshte, Amelia and Alan Mills, Thomas and Lucas V, Rory, Max R, Gwen, Iggy, Elowin, and Addy, GC, Huxley, Ophelia, Clem, Laid, Fairy Scientist, Judah Moore, Annie and David in Pennsylvania, Riker Y, Isabella Corsiglia, Sophie, Becky, and Rob Jenkins, Milan Shandal, Harry, The Peterson Pack, Kara and Michael, James Berg, Pfeiffer III, Felix and Castor, Watson Smith, Hannah, Maya, and Zoe, Davin Kimothy, Grayson Kristoff, Mika, Jordan, and Maya, Jackson Wright, Jack, Aiden Swift, Ida Zaidman, Avery L, Autumn McBottom and Beeg Sauce, Zeno the Shark, Dora and Levi, Jordan Montgomery, Lennon McCartney Jones Page Avalon and Cash, Wyatt Michelle, Mr. Nicholas, Rebecca Beanie, Mrs. Esslinger's third grade class, Porter, Isaac, and Wesley Pierce, Luke and Lily Hurlitz, Nora Close, Tegan and Callan Leon, Henry and Marion Carson, Louis and Theodore Fierro, Kate and Sarah, Aiden Mulvey, Brenton and Cosette, Isley and Jude Siegel, Kelly B, Krusty Face, Mason and Nora, Jameson and Nolan, Gavin Meidel, Blazon Richard Dean Bartholomew, Asher Jacobson, 
Nadia and Hannah, Arthur, the Rivard Boys, Aria and Kieran, and Vivi and Jojo Roche. You can get your name in a video by visiting patreon.com backslash Mr. DeMeo. Also, I've hidden a secret coupon code in this video. Try to find it. You can use it to save money on my new Mr. DeMeo face masks. 25% of proceeds will go to the Gary Sinise Foundation, so check it out. Thank you for all those cards and letters. You've opened up.